Nigerians. All right, so I watched the video of some people being arrested by NDLA, busted into their houses, arrested them and all of that. And um been reading a lot of comments and all of that. Now, I want to say this clearly without um, having to hurt anyone, just airing my sincere and candid opinion. First of all, before you do anything in this society where we are, it's true we all have our individual rights, our freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of actions as adults. And there are some stages in life that we go through as youths. We want to explore, do things that we are not of age to do. We want to do things that we feel this is what is happening in society and all of that. Number one, you need to understand the society where you are. We continue to compare ourselves with international society. Ah, this doesn't happen in America. This doesn't happen in the UK. This doesn't happen. Excuse me, you are talking about a society that is properly legalized. You are talking about a society that has a structure. So sometimes the things that are your right to do, you might not be able to do them because of the society where you are or where you find yourself. Nigeria is a place that human rights, the, the, it's not even clearly understood. I don't think police officers or um, uh, officers in uniform, whether it is NDLA, whether it is EFCC, they don't understand what the fundamental um, human rights are. And these are people that are also criminals themselves. These are people who do things that they arrest people for. These are people who want to intimidate you as a human being. These are people who run business of survival by going everywhere to just attack people. Now, let's tell ourselves the truth. We are developing. We are getting into a new phase of, yes, freedom of this, freedom of that. But please, let's also learn to curb our excesses. The rate at which our youths are going these days in the name of hitting it, making name, blowing, being relevant, demonstrating um, their voices and their action is also becoming overwhelming. I just watched the video of a young man having casual intercourse with a, 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 a tortoise, all in the name of Yahoo. We keep fighting, we keep defending our youth because we pour the, 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 the excesses. We pour all this on the government because they have failed to provide jobs, to provide security, to give guaranteed lives to citizens. However, there is still what we call contentment. We should still be contented. There are some countries that are in, in abject poverty and chaos, chaos situations. They don't go as far as we, our youths do. If you want to do anything, do it in moderation. Excesses are becoming too much. You see American musicians, they carry ammunition, they carry guns, they smoke all sorts of stuff. Their countries have rules and regulations of how they regulate them. We don't have it in Nigeria. So we cannot continue to emulate hip hop in that style. There are some things that our culture does not accept for, even if they are wrong. The society has not come to the status of accepting and normalizing it. So we too should tread carefully into jumping into other people's style. It's your personal life. I can't stop you from smoking. I can't stop you from drinking. But keep understanding that the role that you celebrities or musicians and all of that play in the society, you are basically role models to our youth. So they are doing a lot of things because they see you do it. That's why our young girls, our young boys are being exposed illegally. If you are in the four corners of your house, you can do whatever you want to do. It's still enjoyment without you interfering in other person's mentality. Please, let's stop putting our hands and our lives in the hands of these officers who do not value your individual life. If they kill you, then kill you, be that. Nobody will hold them. And they bust into somebody's house. You are parading them as if they have killed. Abakiare, we have not seen him being paraded. Whether he was right or wrong, we have not seen him being paraded. So look at how justice is being played in this system. 
A lot of our uniform officers are broad dead like criminals without holding back my words. And they know it. You see police officers wearing three earrings, carrying ammunition, smoking all sorts of stuff, and you are telling them to arrest young Yahoo boys. Who is the Yahoo amongst them? But this is the society we find ourselves. So please, I want to implore every one of us, let's take it slowly. Let's take it easy. Until our society becomes better and safe. You see the way they arrest people. You see some people are in jail innocently. Not, not justice for them. And you don't want to continue to fall into this. So please, I'm advising our young youths. It is enough. There should be a limitation to all our excesses. There are so much excesses going on in the society. I'm right here in Mexico. I saw a very beautiful, pretty, naturally endowed girl pushing coffee and selling coffee. I said to myself, no Nigerian girl will do this. What we look at now is our physical endowment. We have turned our kids into broad daylight prostitutes. All they go after is phone luxury things. Our young ladies don't longer look at their, their strength. They don't longer look at their values in what they can add. All they see now is, eh, I'm sexy, I've got both, I've got this, flaunt it to make money. That's why it's easy for somebody to say, you go greet a young man, he doesn't give you money, excuse me. We also passed through this stage. It wasn't this bad. Nobody's saying you should not, you should not admire yourself, you should not do whatever you want to do, but the consequences of all this action bulges down on the society at large. It has to stop. That young girl was selling coffee. Pretty young girl, what she knows is what to bring to the table. Our own girls don't have anything to bring to the table anymore. Rather, they want to take from the table without being grateful. Is this a society of the children want to continue to raise? Who are encouraging this? We, the government, the parents, we all have to come on deck. You can sing a song and express whatever you want to say without you sniffing and smoking and pouring out all these things into the air. Excuse me, you're not Tupac. You're not Tupac. You have the right, but the society does not give you your right to exercise. So let's understand the societal factor and our individual rights. And let's learn to cop, cop, uh, uh, incorporate everything together. And that is why every one of you needs to continue to speak out against all this injustice and inhuman treatment to our citizens. This is one of the reasons why you all have to get your PVC and why we have to crave for, for people who understand our problems to come out and contest so that we can have people, we can all sit down on a round table to talk and they understand what the human problems are and not what their own pocket targets are. It is high time we all understand that Nigeria needs change. And change can only come if we all come together to discuss our issues, dialogue, voicing out. It's your right as a youth to do whatever you want to do, but it's not your right in the society because your society does not welcome it. Because the people who should protect you are the people who will destroy you. That is the society where we are now. Please, a, uh, a word is enough for the, for the wise. It's not every time we have to be fighting aggressively, talking and all of that. Sometimes it's needed. Sometimes it's not there. We need to talk to ourselves as mothers, mother to 